Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Collectors, and today we're going to take a look at some of the games I picked up for the Sega Dreamcast that'll get me one step closer to finishing the North American Dreamcast set. Make sure you stay to the end. I have a special giveaway. There are about 248 games, not including variants, for the Sega Dreamcast, and I'm about 230. So I'm about remaining about 12 games away from a complete set. What? Not including these games that I have here. Some of these games took me a while to track down, about six years to actually find some of these at a good price and some of these at all because I'd never really see them. Yes, I could go the eBay route, but I tried to hold off on that as much as possible until the very end. And unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, I had to pick up some of these games through eBay. So let's take a look at some of the games I picked up. First up, Confidential Mission, similar to House of Dead and Death Crimson OX. It's an on-rail shooter that has you playing as a James Bond clone. You go mission to mission and using your light gun to shoot out waves of enemies. I had a blast playing this. I started it and I couldn't stop playing. I got about five missions in and I realized, okay, I gotta stop so I can start doing a video. But this is a blast to play. I really enjoyed it. The voice acting is kind of cheap. You don't play these type of games for the voice acting. It's just a great on-rail shooter. Next up, Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits. I always like compilation mm. discs or compilation games on anything. I find that you get your bang for your buck. You pay one price, you get about five games or six games in it. And with this one, you get Paperboy, Rampage, Gauntlet, which is one of my favorites, 720, Moon Control, and Spy Hunter. I find playing these older games hasn't lost their charm. Even if Gauntlet wasn't on this compilation, I'm sure I'd have a blast with it regardless. Next up, a Star Wars game I didn't have and that's Star Wars Jedi Battles. And I'm still missing episode one racer, which is unbelievable because every time I look for it, I can't find it. And when I do find it, it's just ridiculously priced on eBay. And I just can't bring myself to spend that type of money on a mediocre racing game, in my opinion. This was also released on the PlayStation 1. I'm looking forward to actually playing it. I don't know if it's any good. Next up, Soldier of Fortune. I always loved the Rainbow Six style of games. I really enjoyed this game. It reminds me a lot of GoldenEye. You get to control John Mullins. And your goal is to kill as many terrorists as possible. Although the controls are a little bit to get used to, you walk in strafe with A, B, X, Y, and you aim with the analog stick. You can use the mouse and keyboard, but unfortunately I didn't have that. This game was a little bit ahead of its time where destructive environments and being able to shoot limbs completely off, like a headshot, or shoot enemies in the hand, forcing them to drop weapons. This was a blast of a game to play. A game that reminds me of another game that I played on, again, on the Xbox. It's called Chrome Hounds, where you get to create a mech and you take it online and you get to kill other enemies on screen that created their mechs. And this one has that same vibe. Get started immediately. Yeah, I'll show those Zeeks just how much power I got. Ahead of us. Next up is the Sega All-Stars Classic, Crazy Tax. This game is bar none, one of the best arcade games on the Dreamcast. You're gonna have so much fun and it's just so simple to get in. It's a good two minutes per round and each round you can get better and better and better. The mini games alone are my favorite. I used to always love playing the mini games. And lastly, this one actually caught me by surprise. I was out there at a local thrift shop and I couldn't believe I like I'm just rummaging. I never find really anything at the thrift shop. I usually just go there for the sake of going there in the hopes that I will find something. So I'm going through, I go through the DVDs, I find nothing. Who the f is that guy? I go through the toys, I find nothing. I go through the CDs every once in a while, I'll find a CD or a cassette that I may want. And I'm rummaging through and I come across, and mind you, this place is like, the end of the end when it comes to thrift stores. So basically all thrift stores that don't sell stuff, it just comes to there in big Gaylords and just you're rummaging through it. So there's nothing really I find in these things because there's just chaos in there. So as I'm going through the CDs, I'm coming across Michael Bolton. <laughs> Celine Dion and a whole bunch of nonsense that I'm not interested in. And I come across a spine that looks so familiar. And I couldn't believe because I'd never find Dreamcast games in thrift stores, but not anymore. Considering I already have this game, I was excited because it was something that I found in this store. But I already have this game, so it's not like something I desperately needed. It would be different if it was something I desperately needed. The funny thing is, this game is not a valuable game at all. 
But every time I go to this thrift store, I look through the CDs again, and I look for the Incredibles jewel case so I could see if I could find the actual CD that goes along with this. I've yet to come across it. I go multiple times and I never come across it. It's just a nice little thing that I found loose at a thrift store. Speed Devils is a fantastic racing game. I always have a blast with it with the changing environments. Now with 12 games remaining, I think I wanna give something back to the community. Now being a Dreamcast collector, as we clearly see, I wanna do a giveaway to the community that's given me so much. So I'm gonna do a giveaway for the Sega Dreamcast console, six games, a memory card, and a controller, and all the wires. The rules are simple. If you're subscribed already, good for you. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get drawn in right away. I'm gonna run a contest on Gleamio where you just have to follow these simple rules and you're entered. And that's it, that's all you have to do. The link will be at the bottom of this video. Right now we're closing on about 2000. And if we get there quickly, the draw will be done faster. Please let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.